What's going on YouTube? My name is Twig and I'm back bringing you guys some more Dark Souls 3 content today and we are going to be taking a look at where to find the Chloranthi ring as well as Flynn's ring and um, if you guys don't already know where, where they are. So the bonfire that we need to warp to for this video is the Cliff Underside bonfire in the Undead Settlement area and I don't know how I just survived that on the bridge but we are going to progress like we're going to the next area of the game. But instead of going down the elevator, we're actually going to go upwards towards the giant that throws the arrows at us. And then we're going to hop off just a little bit early um, where you normally progress through Sigurd's quest line and um, go that way. So you guys are going to be watching that. And I did want to point out a couple of reasons why you might actually want to pick up these two rings for your playthrough. And I actually do pick them up if I'm doing kind of like a casual strength build playthrough because they can really help out a lot and I and I think I do pick them up in my walkthrough series and use them for most of my playthroughs so um, first off what the Chlorinthy ring does is it raises your uh, stamina recovery speed by 7 and then an NG plus it raises it by 8 and then an NG plus 2 is it raises it by 9 which is uh, pretty crazy and then that can be stacked with the uh, stamina rec recovery speed of the um, grass crest shield which if you guys don't know where that is be sure and click the flame in the top right hand corner of your screen. It will take you to a playlist with all my location guide videos that I posted. And then you can watch the uh, Grass Crest Shield one to find out where that is. It really can help out your playthrough a lot. And it's an all around great shield to have. So as we come up on Flynn's Ring right here, we're going to pick it up. And what it does is it raises, um, uh, it lowers your equip load, but it raises, increases your attack power up to 15%, which it can be really huge especially for as early in the game that you can get it. So as we make our way down the tower right here to pick up the Chlorinthi ring by the boxes, you can also pick up the mirror set right there, and then you can trade the vertebrae shackle to Snuggly the Crow in Firelink Shrine and get the Lucatil's mask to complete that set, and it actually uh, makes it look really good. So if you guys don't know where Snuggly the Crow is, you can check out my Covetous Silver Serpent ring video, and I show where Snuggly the Crow is so you can trade stuff with him. And uh, I'm just going to promote all my videos, but if you uh, guys want to check out any of the playlist slash videos on your screen, feel free to. I'll be bringing you guys some more Dark Souls 3 content tomorrow, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.